going on YouTube? We are back here again with another episode of Quintember. Episode number two, actually. It's actually still September 1st, but I had to get a video ready for tomorrow. Because like I said, if you have not heard yet, we are doing a 30-day challenge where I upload every single day of the month of September. So if you guys are not subscribed right now, go down, hit that subscribe button, and turn the post notifications on. While you're at it, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button for me. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, this announcement was already made on my Instagram. So follow me there just because I usually post up there first. And it's just a great way for you guys to stay up to date with what I'm doing. But anyways, in today's video, a little bit of a weird one. Kind of a random tangent that I just found in a comment section. I told you guys to leave comments for what you want to see me do this month. And this right here was the first comment with a video idea. So we're going to do it. So let's jump into FL and make a Katy Perry rage beat. All right, so as you can tell, we already have most of the melody done. I probably won't change too much. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, off the bat, I used pretty much all serum, and then there is this free plugin that you could grab called Surge, which is actually a plugin that was used a lot on the Playboy Cardi album, Whole Lot of Red. There's a bunch of just like really hard, like rock style, synthy style sounds in here. But anyways, let's get right into it. So we were, uh, we're going for the idea of a rage beat. So I opened up this Omnisphere patch called Broken Square Lead. One of my favorite patches right now is just super distorted and it just instantly brings out a super full sound. So we'll solo this out and I'm going to go to the mixer and show you guys that there's actually no effects on it at all. It's just completely dry. So let's go to the piano roll and I'll break down what I did here. So it might look a bit complicated at first, but once we break it down, it's not at all. It's a simple triad, as you can see right here. It's A minor, so it's all the white notes. Uh, I mean, all the black. Well, I guess it would be all the white notes on your keyboard. But for me, it's the white notes because I got this little dude right here. But anyways, I always do this. I go to this little button right here, go to view, and we set the scale highlighting to A. I don't even have it set right now, but A minor. And to make a triad, all you do is you'll start at the first note, the root note of your scale, skip a note in the scale, and go to the next, skip another note, and go to the next. Now you have a triad. Now I, I do this pretty much all the time just to make the sound a bit fuller. You bring that middle note up an octave. You do that by hitting control up arrow. And I just made this simple little chord progression, which is actually only three chords. This one that carries out for a long time. We have like this little one that adds a little bit of suspense into the next chord right here. And then... We have that same chord from before, just duplicated over right here. And of course, I brought down the bass notes, which are these notes right here. And I just duplicated those and brought them down an octave and then another octave as well. And I was messing around and I just played this little top melody on top where it goes A to G, C, B, A, E, G, A. And that just repeats over twice. And this is what that first sound does. I mean, it pretty much generates like the whole melody. Check this out. All right, so, and then the next sound I pulled up was actually a lead from Serum, and this is the melody I played. I actually played it on this MIDI keyboard. I kind of just freestyled it and then quantized the notes and everything. But if we go over here to the mixed track slate, you can see that we put a big delay on it, just the default preset on Delay Eternity. EQ'd it like this, just to pull out some of the sounds I didn't like, and I put on a fruity chorus, just because I thought it sounded pretty cool. Oh, here is the Serum patch. It is from Prod Noah, the Omega Serum Bank, and the lead's called Poison. And it sounds like this. Yeah, so then we moved on to the next sound, which is another serum lead. And I think, let's see. So I played something different here, but uh, I was pretty much just trying to fill out the rest of the sound, and this is what we got right here. Actually, here, let me show you. Uh, I only put a fruity chorus on it, so this is what that sounds like. And then the last sound is from that free plugin called Surge, and it's the lead in the lead section called Butter. Kind of sounds like a whistle. And I think I put, uh, oh, I didn't put anything on there. Just an EQ. Pull out some of that low end. But uh, that sounds like this. Yeah, so that just repeats. And then the last thing I actually added was just this bass, which is a super simple bass. Just follow the root note. And then the processing for that, I just added an effect rack, uh, decapitator, and just 
brought the drive up a tad bit and i also put this punish button on so now let's play everything together and see what we got Cool, and now uh, let's actually get to the drums. So all we're gonna do here is split this channel and we're gonna drag all the sounds into the playlist. All right, so I rendered these out just because the serum was kind of destroying my CPU. So all we're gonna do here now is just loop this and we're gonna bring in a new pattern. I'm gonna hit this little plus button. Boom, drag this in here. And we're just gonna start on the drum. So I'm gonna be using my drum kit, which is Always available at quintababa.com. It is called Full Circle. It's a multi kit. You grab the drum kit alone. It's called Euphoria. But yeah, I'm telling you, it's got like pretty much the best drums for a hyper pop type beat. So let's get into it. Uh, for, we're gonna start out with a clap real quick. Start out with this. Then we're gonna use the default clap pattern, and we're gonna go find a hi hat. And we're just gonna do fill each two step for now. <laughs> And then I'm going to duplicate that over twice. Uh, I've noticed this hi-hat pattern is kind of getting a lot more popular where you do just like the two-step rolls. So we're just going to stick with that. Keep it simple for now. Uh, next up, we're going to do a snare. I'm actually going to grab this snare. And I'm going to copy the clap pattern onto the snare. Cool, so I like that. So we're just gonna go straight up into the 808. We're just gonna use like the Z808. So I'm gonna drag this in here. First thing, cut itself, turn that all the way up. I'm just gonna make a note. And we know the pattern already, it's A. So we're gonna go A, and it goes to D. Our note goes G to E, I think. Uh, we just gotta turn this up a little bit more. So I'm gonna go to this tab and bring the volume up. Yeah, this is like perfect. So we're just gonna route all the drums to the mixer track. All right, yeah, so that's the whole beat right here. So now we're gonna arrange it and do that real weird part and actually add the Katy Perry, Katy Perry vocals. So uh, let's just arrange this real quick. All right, yeah, so I like this, so all I'm going to do here is duplicate the main part over, and then we are going to duplicate that over like that, and we should be at yeah, right around four minutes. All right, yeah, so that is perfect, and, and I guess let's hear this with the Katy Perry vocals.
Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. This one turned out pretty cool. It was actually fun to make. Uh, the Katy Perry thing didn't actually sound too good. There were a lot of parts that were just out of key. I didn't even really test it before. I kind of just downloaded a random acapella. But uh, I think this beat turned out really cool. I think it's kind of something like, like a rage inspired yeet type beat. Maybe with some Sofago sprinkled on top. Yeah, if you guys learned anything, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for all of the videos that are going to be coming this September. There's going to be 30 of them. I'm, up I'm uploading every single day. If you guys want to catch any announcements soon, join the Discord or follow me on Instagram. Matter of fact, just do both. It'll help you out. Yeah, guys, that's all I got for now. So I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.